And welcome to episode 6, and this one, Make the People Happy, we're going to be covering motivation and employee satisfaction. Man, you know, there's been a lot of issues coming up with the staff. People complaining about the facility... And some of the people have reported some performance issues. Hey, Don. I've been meaning to talk to you. I've noticed that a lot of the salespersons complain about the environment. Have you heard anything about that? Well, Sherry, I've actually heard quite a bit about it. Many people have complained about the uncomfortableness of the desk, sitting for long periods of time, and all that. I've even heard a few complaints about being stuck in small cubicles and how you can't even really see anything except for the tiny four walls around you. People feel alone. We should discuss this in a meeting. I'm gonna go talk to Jack. Sherry brought to my attention that performance goals haven't been being met at a fast enough rate. And she thinks this is due to certain issues the employees have with the environment that they're in at work. Yeah, Don, I feel the same. I've had a lot of people complain about how there isn't much team etiquette going on. I was thinking maybe we could do a few things to make people feel like they're more part of a team and ways to acknowledge their accomplishments. Let's get together and discuss this. Okay guys, so I think one way that we can help with people feeling more accomplished is if we set up some team coaching and maybe some like progress reports so we can set up a database that tracks all their sales and their records and then we can set them up with a training report. Great idea, Jack. I would like to start a wellness program. A lot of people are getting stressed or overwhelmed and some people have bad days on the sales force. I think if we set up a wellness program and organized certain health habits and maybe did some sponsoring around the building and setting up flyers and motivating people to get up and move around. Or we could even have a counselor on staff that can talk to people when they're having bad days. So I thought what we could do is instead of having cubicles now, we can have co-op desks set up so that people and certain teams can be in a more open environment, in a more welcoming environment, and they can coordinate with one another more effectively. I feel like this would give people a better sense of belonging and they would feel more comfortable at work. Yeah, guys, we would enjoy that. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now the one thing I think that's very important is a lot of people don't feel like they get enough appreciation. If we set up some leaderboards, that way we can see who's doing the best and which teams are doing the best. And that way people can see that they're being praised for their alkalides. The end. All right, so. As you can see in this one, I was covering the different issues people tend to have involving work. Oh, everyone has needs. Yeah, we have the need to feel like we're part of a group, the need to feel that we're individuals, 
the need to feel like we're accomplishing goals and bettering ourselves. Uh, we have our health concerns. Um, and all this was covered. Starting a wellness program covers health concerns, which a lot of people have. So they set up uh, bulletins and flyers and little newsletters to talk about different health programs, even considered hiring a counselor so that if people need to talk to somebody, um, maybe even having better food options along the, around the facilities. They covered team meetings in uh, cubicles that were more open and cooperative based. That way people would have a better sense of belonging. Uh, weekly team meetings, getting together and discussing things as a unit uh, will make people feel like they're part of a team for the different collective groups. Um, and that need would be met. Uh, leaderboards, um, people who are trying to feel accomplished or successful, uh, people want to have a feeling of accomplishment. So in recognition, the progress reports, training reports, um, and leaderboards do a lot of that. Um, and people want to feel like they have, you know, the ability to grow or learn or develop new things. So training reports help out a lot. So people can see, well, this is how well I've been doing. Here are ways to improve. And these are my goals to be met. Team coaching goes back on the group mentality as well as self-actualization. And in that, we had our episode on motivation and employee satisfaction. Thank you very much.